Happy New Comic Book Day! It's Michael for Spirit Comics. Welcome to another, well, you could call it an unbagging since I don't unbox. You know, some people do that, but I don't. And before I get started, I want to show you something that you're not going to recognize. Yeah, it's, you're seeing the back of a comic book, but more than that, it's what you're not seeing. Usually, John bought, uh, bags my comics in a free comic book day bag. But he didn't today because he was all out of bags. Now, I don't know what his work week has been like since this past Wednesday. But, to me, that suggests that John's that John shop Purple Earth Comics has been so busy selling comic books that he was out of bags. I mean, I have never ever known him to run out of bags. Never ever. So to me, that's the sign of a good comic book store when they run out of bags, and like John's store. Always has bags. Always has bags. So anyway, this is what I got for New Comic Book Day. Everything in here is DC Comics except for two. So let's start off. Start off. Mr. Miracle number four. Now, I was honestly starting to worry about this series because the previous cover, yeah, it was so-so. But this cover, this is Big Barda, the wife of Mr. Miracle. And she's called Big Barda for a reason. Because Big Barda can kick big ass. So I'm hoping this is a good story. The previous story was, eh... Well, it could have been better. But so far, the Mr. Miracle story has you know, overall been pretty nice. Batman lost a tie-in with the Dark Knight's Metal series. And I honestly am not sure what uh, is going on with it. These usually... These are tying with, you know, one of the other Justice League members where a Batman of another world gets the powers of a superhero. So far there's been uh, Flash, Cyborg, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, that's five, and I don't see... I'm just flipping through this. I don't see him getting into any other bad guy or, su or superhero. So maybe this will be an honest to goodness Batman story where he doesn't take the powers of someone else. I like the cover. Action Comics. 991 The Oz Effect Part 5 I really do not want Re DC's Rebirth to end because I think it is so cool the way they've they've given new birth to this to, to all their comics and this lenticular cover it's really cool just and in one moment, so it looks like Superman's chained, and the next, he breaks, he breaks free. That's pretty cool. This is how you, you know, this is you know how you do a lenticular cover. Some of the Marvel lenticular covers weren't that great. Batgirl and Birds of Prey number sixteen. This is the uh, variant cover. Look who's on the cover there! 
Harley Quinn and Batwoman getting out of her uh, getting out of her own ma her own comic, I guess. Now, usually we see Batwoman in detective comics, but she's branched out into her own comic. And I bought the one shot when it ca came out a few months ago. I wasn't really impressed. Now, Detective Comics 968. In the previous issue, Batwoman had to be in prison because the future Tim Drake, the future version of himself, came back to kill Batwoman. So she had to be protected. And down here we see three figures. Batwoman, Batman, and Spoiler. So I'm wondering how this is going to change, how this story is going to shape up. And let's see. Next up, The Flash, number 34. This is, I love this cover. As much as I love the Iris West of the comic book, and I'm talking about the comic book, not the, not the TV show. As much as I love the Iris West of the comic book, I really thought something w might might happen with him and Mina, and that was before she she was uh, you know wrote off for a while. And yes, there's the the annoying Justice League mo movie sticker in theaters 11 17 2017 my birthday. I, yeah, I, I, I won't be going to see it because it's going to be my birthday and I go to Red Lobster once a year as a treat for my birthday. And that's where I want to go for my birthday this year. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 32, Bats Out of Hell. Part three, a Dark Metal Knights tie-in. Tie I mean, Dark Knights Metal. You know, those folks at DC are really going to have their hand, hands full, I think, with, with the dark, dark Knights Metal. Harley Quinn, number 31. Doesn't she look cute and rather busty? This is what Marvel could learn from. How to draw a female. We were talking about this in the, the comic shop earlier today. And John remarked, I believe, that some people would consider Marilyn Monroe fat by today's standards. But Marilyn Monroe, she I've seen pictures of her before. And she was beautiful. Now this is a comic book that I was considering giving up on. I really was. Because the covers have been lackluster. I'm sorry to say that. The, sto and the stories have been eh, so-so. But this one, this cover got my attention so I hope the story is just as good Justice League of America number 18 surgical strike there we have Caitlin Snow I mean uh, uh, yeah, yeah Lobo uh, Black Canary and uh, I think that's the Ray I like this cover. I'm not exactly sure who this is, but uh, it, it it says Prisoners of Prometheus. So I'm hoping that'll be a good story. And this is that's something else about DC Comics. They know how to make a cover. Alright. Now this looks like it's gonna be interesting. New Superman Number 17, Equilibrium, Clash with 
the Justice League. Because the Justice League has been aware of the Justice League of China's existence for a while now. They just haven't done anything. So... Oh yeah, uh, it. This looks pretty interesting. Just you know, off off of the first page. And I, I, I am definitely gonna be reading this. ASAP. And let's see. Next up, Red Hood and the Outlaws. And you got Artemis, Red Hood, Bizarro, and somebody here off to the right says, Hiya dolls, welcome to the fun house. Who do you think that could be? This is Squad Goals, part one, I believe. And I, and, and, you, and, and if you know that language, then you probably know who they're facing. Supergirl number 15. A familiar phrase. See something, say something. This is a new story called Plain Sight Part 1. I really don't want them to get rid of, these, of, rid of the Rebirth title because it looks so nice along the top here like a banner and look at this take a good look what do you see that we haven't seen in Supergirl for a while a more pronounced breast can't you can see the curvatures right there I really want to see Supergirl mature, not only physically, but also emotionally. S Superwoman number 16, Midnight Hour. Power failure, meaning, you know, she's lost her powers. At least, it, that's what it appears to be. She's been struggling with her powers for quite a few issues now. And yes, this is this is one of the issues. I mean, this one one of the series that people have said you know is not doing so well. But the ones that people say aren't doing well are the ones I tend to like. I mean, I've heard Super Sons doesn't it, it isn't doing well. Superwoman, Supergirl, New Superman. I love all of those comics. Titans, number 17. The world stops. It can't be. We're best friends. The traitor revealed. There's been a traitor in the midst of the Titans for a while now. And it was revealed a few issues ago. But in the previous issue, it came out to be somebody else than what was originally shown in the comic. And Wonder Woman number 34 Children of the Gods part 4. At last Jason the brother of Wonder Woman. Now issue 33 was a disappointment. Wonder Woman wasn't even in it. And you know they put her on the cover at least her face, but she wasn't in it. Uh, and so I flipped through this one at the, at the store, and she is in this one. Yeah, she's kicking butt in this one. And so I'm hoping this will be a much better issue. James Robinson, who's been writing Wonder Woman, uh, he, he, he just hasn't been doing a good a good job you know so far he's had one good issue I hope 
that maybe, just maybe, Brian Michael Bendis, who was recently signed to an exclusive contract with DC Comics, would be put on something that needs improving, like Wonder Woman. Although I heard he made some remarks about Wonder Woman in the movie a while back. Anyway, we're almost to the end. From Marvel Comics, She-Hulk! Yes! She-Hulk. She's back. She-Hulk. Number 159, Jen Walters Must Die. That is the leader. He's a bad guy. And we have the same writers, Hellcats in here. And... What's this? Oh, this this looks familiar. This scene looks familiar. Uh huh. I don't see. Oh, man, he's got a big head. I'm gonna be interested to read this one. ASAP. I'm not going to reveal anything about, about this because I'm still in the process of reviewing the Hulk series starring Jennifer Walters, which began in December of 2016 and just ended a month ago. Only 11 issues long. Marv, um, another one from Marvel, X-Men Gold, number 15, Mojo Worldwide, part 5. This guy, this ugly, this ugly dude, has been, has been making profit off of the two X-Men teams and putting them in, da in, in danger for the entertainment value of, you know, himself. And other other people just look and stare and look and and stare on. And people have been complaining recently about Kitty Pride looking mannish. Well, I'll be looking specifically for her when I go through this. So, if you want me to review any one of these comic books specifically, just let me know and I'll tell you which ones they are again Mr. Miracle number four from DC Comics most of these are from DC Comics Batman Lost from D DC Comics Action Comics number nine nine one the Oz Effect Part 5. Batgirl and Birds of Prey, number 16. With uh, Harley Quinn there on the cover. Detective Comics, number 968. The Flash, number 34. I love that cover. Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps, number 32. Harley Quinn, number 31. Oh, and uh, this, uh, for your information, Frank Cho has made a really good variant cover for Harley Quinn, number 33, that is reminiscent of Charles Dickens' Christmas Carol. So I would... So when you go to your comic shop, if you buy Harley Quinn, I would recommend saying, Hey, I want the variant cover for issue 33. Justice League of America, number 18. New Superman, number 17, Clash with the Justice League. 
again, if you want me to review any of these, just leave me a comment here on YouTube because I check my comments every day. Red Hood and the Outlaws, number 16. Hi, dolls. Welcome to the fun house. Supergirl number 15. See something, say something. I see something, and yes, I did say something. Superwoman number 16. Power failure. Titans number 17, The Traitor Revealed. Like I said, I do look for my comments every, look at my comments every day. So if you want me to review any of these, just leave me a comment here on YouTube. Wonder Woman number 34, at last, the brother of Wonder Woman, Jason. And I'm hoping this will be a good story. Written by... Uh, James Robinson. She Hulk number one five one hundred fifty nine. Jim Walters must die. Part one. The leader is involved. X Men Gold number fifteen. Mojo World Wide. Part five. Crossover with X Men Blue. So that's what I have for New Comic Book Day on November. Let's see, what is this? November 8th, 2017. And my birthday is coming up November 17th, 2017. If there is anything you would like to send me, hey. Just send me a message and I'll message you right back my address so you can send you can send send me a nice present because I'm turning 44 years old. <laughs> I'm Michael for Spare Comics. Thank you, True Readers, for joining me today. Please if, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Smash the bell like She Hulk. Click like and share the video so others can enjoy this video as well. Till next time, true readers.